The woolshop.ie is located off the coast of Ireland in Bunmahan. Bernadette's love for yarn and crafts was inherited down through the generations and her passion has grown since secondary school from selling wool to teaching the skill of knitting. Now Bernadette operates the woolshop.ie with her husband Neil who strive to provide an easy to use website with a vast range of products. Bernadette says she's loving what she's doing and as she says herself, wool is what she knows best. Well, I had a wool and craft shop in the main street in Bray in County Wicklow. I ran that for over 14 years, so that really introduced me to the wool and crafts, which I loved. And we had the opportunity to leave Dublin. Our children were reared. Got the opportunity to move back to Bunmahan, a little magical village where, where I was semi-reared. And when we arrived here, we had to earn a living. So wool and crafts were what I knew. So we decided to open an online shop. We're into our fifth year uh, in the making. Um, it's relatively new. It's new to us as well. Um, Neil, my husband, he was a lot more computer literate than I am, um, but I'm getting there. I never thought I would say this, but it's harder than having a retail shop. Um, there's a lot more um, detail and um, concentration needed. You don't have to worry about each individual colour in a shop. It just comes out of the box, goes on the shelves. When stuff goes online, each ball has to be pictured, each pattern, each button, each uh, roll of ribbon, you name it. Everything individually has to be put up. So it takes longer. There's more work involved. It's interesting, but there's an awful lot of detail. I never, I never thought there was so much involved in an online shop. And I suppose if I, I knew it, if I did know, I would have been more nervous. I went in blindfolded, which is good. <laughs> That's probably why it's working. I was blindfolded. I didn't realise what was involved. This is a relatively new business and it has been growing steadily since we started off. We've three full years of trading now behind us. The big challenges early on was obviously putting the stock in place and um, financing that and then finding customers, getting customers to find out who we were and where we were. So the internet's a big place, but it has worked very, very well for us. We've put a lot of time in within social media to get out there, Google ads and all this type of thing to make us visible to our, to our customers. We depend on our repeat customers and with our Facebook page, a lot of these come on the Facebook and the blog and they like things and they'll comment and they'll send nice comments. And so, yeah, we, we do have a relationship with our, with our customers. Our regular customers will order probably maybe once every six weeks. So it's, it's good when you see a regular customer coming back that that's good. That means the business is working. Yeah, that, that they're the cement of the business, really. And then it's word of mouth from there. The biggest challenge for us is getting new visitors to the site. The site's grown probably 30 percent year on year from a, from a bit a low base. So it's it's going well. We're looking forward to the future. We, it will grow out to a point where hopefully within a year's time we may employ a couple of people. Our customers come from, as I said before, all over the world. A large proportion coming from Ireland. 70% of our product goes, goes into Ireland, about a third, 30% goes outside of Ireland, quite far afield. Our customer is from 16 years of age right through to 80 years of age. Anybody who can use the internet. And we find more and more that we have a lot of customers, senior citizens if you like, who are using the net because it's very, very hard to get the quantity and quality of supply in, in some of the local stores. We carry about nearly 5,000 lines between different colours and different weights of yarn, patterns and all that. We keep needles and other accessories to go along with knitting. So the wool shop is quite, it's quite a broad site, catering to quite a few craft areas. One of the new craft areas we see coming up is needle felting, 
we're stocking yarn specifically for that and tools specifically for that. That's a slightly different uh, process to knitting, but it's an interesting craft and we can see that growing in the future. My future plans for the business are very positive. We began our business very small. We didn't take a wage for a year and a half. Now we're taking a wage, a small wage, but it is a wage. Um, we're now growing, which is great. And in the next year, year and a half, we hope to employ about two people um, to help us out, so to give us time out. And uh, that, that's positive. Mm -hmm.